my god, it's going quick. But I surfed yesterday. Yeah, I know it's like an awkward topic. Like people don't like to talk about money. Just got these two new skincare products. Hi guys, I'm starting a new vlog. Today is Wednesday and today is the day that my friends fly into town. So I'm so excited to my besties from Massachusetts are flying in and it's May and Mike. They've definitely been in my vlogs before. So if you know, you know. But I just got back from yoga. I went to yoga on my like lunch break or whatever because I'm just working from home today. And now I'm gonna eat lunch while I continue to work since I went to the class on my lunch break. But I went to a new instructor today because I never usually can go to the classes during the day, of course. She has some Thursday evenings too, and I was supposed to go last week, but I had to cancel because I was like kind of like traveling for work. I mean, I was just driving, but anyway, so I missed it. But yeah, right now I just warmed up some Trader Joe's veggie fried rice that I made with tofu and I'm just getting some work done but it's not that crazy of a day at work. I am going into the office tomorrow, but then I took Friday off, thankfully, when they're here. And I'm working from home again on Monday, which I kind of wish that I took Monday off too, but it is what it is. So I don't know what vlogging is gonna look like this weekend, but I'm sure I'll take some clips when we're doing fun, cute things. Pretty. It's going quick. Matcha Tito, baby. Good morning, guys. I haven't updated you in so long because I barely vlogged when Mike and May were here, but I just got out of the gym. It is now 6.30. I'm back on my early morning gym grind. Thank God, because I didn't go this whole week. Getting back in the routine, even though today's Friday and I literally leave town tomorrow because I'm going to Santa Clarita this weekend because I have Monday off. It's like presents day. It's so weird because we didn't get MLK day off, but we got we get presents day. So I'm just like, I don't get it honestly. But I would have rather had like the day after the Super Bowl off, but you know, that's just me. Anyway, sorry, I'm like kinda out of breath. But today is Friday. I gave myself like the evening to myself, although I am going to yoga with my friend Kat after work because I have like unlimited like free buddy passes or whatever going to a yoga class I forget which one it is it's probably like yoga or flow two or something wow this red light is really <laughs> doing me dirty and then I'm just gonna have the rest of the evening to myself I might FaceTime with Liv because I'm talking to her about a position at my company which is exciting but yeah maybe I'll vlog a little this weekend I mean of course it's like a weekend that I'm with my boyfriend so I don't know about that I'm going surfing on Monday Woo! It's gonna be the first time surfing with my new board that I got for Christmas, so I'm like so hyped. But I think we're just gonna go surfing in Ventura, not Malibu, sadly, but it just like makes sense because of where I live and where my boyfriend works. So like when he's on his way to work on Monday and I'm on my way home, then we're gonna go surfing. I think this weekend is gonna be a lot of pickleball, probably lifting, watching a lot of Marvel movies, kind of more of a chill weekend I'd say because last weekend we literally packed so much into just like a few days. I wish that I filmed some because then I could make a style video that's like I don't know like not like a travel guide but kind of just like things to do places to see like good eats and good drinks like in Santa Barbara because I feel like I need to like tap into that a little bit more since like I'm living in this place that's like kind of a vacation destination or whatever so I'm like I should be making more content like centered around that but honestly I like showing day to day because it's like way more realistic and that's kind of what I like to watch like I don't know if any of you guys watch Abby Aslan but she literally works like a full-time job and she's a content creator I mean granted she's like gets paid for content creation and I am not currently like I used to when I was more consistent but I currently am not so um, trying to get back up there to that point like not to make it like a second like full-time job or anything that'd be crazy because I'm already doing like babysitting and stuff if you guys want to support my <laughs> side gig of content creation honestly just like liking this video commenting on it or even just like I love seeing 
who people watch on YouTube because like sometimes it introduced me to new YouTubers, you know? So even if you like put on your YouTube story or your YouTube story, your Instagram story, like, you know, I'm watching Talia's new video, whatever, like tag me or something. I don't know. I feel like people do that all the time when they're like drinking their coffee in the morning or like whatever. And it's perfect because like I said, it introduces you to new creators. But yeah, and I feel like it helps a lot just with like getting the word out there because YouTube is not as like the algorithm's not as friendly, I guess, to like small YouTubers. Um, TikTok on the other hand, like it's so hit or miss. Like some of my videos will get like 200 views and other ones will get like 3,000. And I'm just like, where's the correlation? So anyway, trying to grow on there and stuff, but I've been thinking about it more and I'm like, I think that the podcast is like the main thing that I love because I could talk for hours, as you can tell by this clip. But anyway, I'm almost home, so I need to shower and make breakfast in the next like half hour, so I'm gonna let you guys go, but maybe I'll vlog some more this weekend to finish up this vlog. I'm definitely like vlogging and posting more than I had planned to. So my goal for this year was to post once a month, and last year that's what I did. I posted once in January, and now in February I had one video already go up, and then I have one scheduled. So okay, I just got home, so I'll let you guys go. So cloudy. Would it be a Talia vlog if I didn't have my cold brew and my tofu scramble? Oh, look at that, so good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I am currently sitting in traffic on my way home from work. It's Tuesday. I was supposed to babysit tonight, but um, we just had to cancel last minute. That means I can actually have time to go to yoga because I didn't go to the gym before work this morning. But I surfed yesterday for the first time this year. AKA my first time in like six months and like first time on my new board and everything. So super exciting. We're only in the water for like an hour because it is still winter. So it's like, I don't know, it's pretty cold. Like I couldn't tell, like I feel like I wasn't cold in the water, right? Like it kind of felt the same as summer. But then like after a certain amount of time, my hands, or not even really my hands, but like my feet were like feeling so numb. And then when I tried to like walk out of the water, it was super rocky and trying to like walk on rocks when your feet are literally numb was like painful. Like I had to just like turn off my brain for a second so that I wasn't like, I don't know, so that it wasn't like annoying, I guess. Fun surfing. I didn't get up on my feet for like a long time or anything. I think I got up on my feet on like my first wave for like a second and then I just like crashed off. <laughs> but I definitely like got up on my knees like a few times and stuff. So yeah, I just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not in the groove of like, oh, like noticing when and where to be on the wave and like how to like turn around fast. Like I'm just like out of routine. So yesterday was my day to like kind of like get back into it a little bit and then I'm gonna go surfing again on Friday so I'm gonna go after work because um I had yesterday off that's why I was able to go like early afternoon um plus my boyfriend knows what he's doing so he tries to coach me along the way <laughs> which is bittersweet but anyway so today I have like an overdue book at the library so I really need to go drop that off and I wanted to pick up another book, but I don't think it's ready for pickup yet, even though I'm, like, in, like, position one to check it out. Like, my library has a system where I, like, place books on hold, and then, you know, whenever you're position one, it they'll, like, pull it from the shelf and just leave it in this one designated area for you to just go pick up any time. That way you don't have to, like, go search for it yourself. And that way it's, like, already, like not like officially checked out to you but it's like on hold for you that's probably like a super common thing in libraries but this is like my first library in a while so anyway um 
yeah, I just, I accidentally missed out on my last hold because I missed the pickup date. I've just, like, I don't know. I feel like I've just been busy and then, like, I was out of town this weekend and stuff like that. But I'm going to be in Santa Barbara, um, like, consistently the next, like, few weekends because of, like, babysitting and stuff. So, um, I feel like that'll be nice. I'm still, like, on track. I think I was telling you guys this the other day. I'm still on track with, like, my reading goal, which is just, like, one a month, which is, like, totally obtainable. Maybe March I'll read, like, two books. I don't know. We'll see. I have to stop at the library or at least one of the book drop-off sites. And then I have a yoga class at 5.30. But then after my yoga class, I'm going to come home and then the girlies are coming over to watch The Bachelor tonight instead. So that'll be fun. And it's kind of fun because I already know how I did this week since the episode was actually out tomorrow or yesterday. Um, but like nobody was in town to watch it. So we're going to watch together tonight. And I got like number one in two of my leagues. And then I was in the top hundred for all of Bachelor Nation that plays on this app. So that was sick. I picked a really good lineup this week. But I'll probably just vlog a little bit the next few days. I want to kind of like talk you guys through like what I've been up to and stuff because I feel like my vlogging routine is just not great right now. And I want to do more like themed videos and stuff so it's not just like random scattered vlogs but stuff that's like actually either helpful for you guys or like relatable for you guys. So yeah, definitely let me know what you want me to talk about down below in the comments. Thanks. You guys are getting another in the dark clip because I just have to tell someone that I accidentally left my car running for my entire yoga class. I'm so dumb. I was literally in such a rush though and I tried to get there like 15 minutes early but for some reason that just didn't happen. It's kind of hard when I'm like getting changed for yoga and like trying to eat something before I go and like whatever. And it's like for a 5.30 class or something. It's just like, it cuts it really close. So that was my bad. And I got there like right when classes started and it's always a super full class. Like literally mat to mat. Like the instructor doesn't even have a mat down. Like she just says what to do. It's crazy. So anyway, so I was like panicked and like in a rush and whatever. So I literally left my car on, like, oh, I'm already, like, running low on gas, but thank God this is a hybrid, because otherwise, like, I would have literally run out of gas and just, like, been stuck on the road. Okay, starting November 9th is my third Colleen Hoover. Good morning, guys. I didn't go to the gym this morning, <laughs> so... I realized like I'm playing pickleball and going to yoga after work. So I was like, there's no need to try to go lift this morning. I'm just getting ready for work. I'm gonna be quiet because I think one of my roommates is still sleeping. I need to just go have breakfast. Since I thought I was lifting this morning, I meal prepped my tofu scramble last night. So it's like right ready to go. I just have to warm it up and then make some toast. And then I just have to like make my, um, my coffee so that should be quick and easy and then you know what's crazy so the library wasn't open last night so i just like dropped off my book at a book return because it's overdue <laughs> and they like emailed me and stuff like giving me my last warning before i probably have to pay and so that meant that i couldn't go pick up my other book at the library like i was telling you guys but then my friend who came over for bachelor last night she brought me a colleen hoover book because she, um, sorry, you guys are like in my planet, so you keep falling. I need to use my tripod more, but she brought me a Colleen Hoover book to read right now. So I was like, that's perfect. So I'm reading November 9th and I just started it last night, but I only got like a few pages in and then I was like, I really need to go to bed because I still like set my alarm for five and like woke up and then was like, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, let's go make breakfast.
Hi guys, I am on my lunch break right now and I just warmed up my lunch but then I drove over to um, the local grocery store because I need to like pick out like work snacks or something. I kind of like ran out of my apartment but I was thinking I would like sit down and kind of give you guys like an update on like what's been going on. So I think I started this vlog right before I had a couple friends visit and then I was at my boyfriend's the whole next weekend because I had presents day off so i've barely been at my apartment but i'm gonna be in my apartment a lot the next like few weeks because i'm not going anywhere really so i'm babysitting a lot which is nice i think this is something i opened up about like on maybe a previous vlog but definitely on the podcast is this year i wanted more streams of income and i'm like buying a new car this year and stuff so there's just gonna be like other expenses and i like don't i like definitely live in like an expensive area and stuff so yeah, I'm just trying to, like, make more money, and now's the time to do that because I can make time to do that, and, like, I don't know. I'd rather, like, work a bunch now so that I'm, like, better off later, you know? But I also have, like, student loan debt and stuff, which is, I know, like, something that people are not very, like, open up, open about, like, on YouTube. It's something that is very real and, like, probably more common than you think, but, yeah, I have a lot of student loan debt, so, like, there's that. That's just, like, something I have to deal with because of where I like chose to go to school and like how much financial aid I got and stuff like that and and like paying for college basically all on my own. It's like weird to be dealing with that now that I'm like working full time and stuff. Yeah, those are just like big bills to pay and like I know everyone goes about it differently but I'm just trying to be like very, I don't know, financially smart and stuff but also not take away from like living my life like I'm 23, you know? Yeah, I know that's like an awkward topic like people don't like to talk about money. It does control like some aspects of our life so lately some of my favorite content has been watching people's like monthly reset videos and they talk about like their budget and just like cleaning and just other things that are part of their like reset routine and my next video i think is going to be my like spring cleaning vlog so i'm gonna incorporate it into that but if you guys want to see monthly reset videos i think i'm gonna start doing them just talking about like kind of what's going on in the upcoming month and like reflecting on the last month a little bit as far as like goals and I don't know just like life in general but then like yeah the budgeting aspect I guess that's kind of what reminded me of this my goal for this year was to post one video a month on YouTube because honestly like long form content is like not as pushed by the algorithm right now especially like I don't know I feel like my views are so much lower than they used to be on YouTube so I was just like okay like my goal is one video a month because it's still something that I like like to do. I like to film and edit and upload. But I'm like, if I'm doing a reset video, that's like already one video a month. And then like any vlogs and like any other like fun content is just extra like added bonus, you know? So I'm like, that's kind of perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get back to eating my lunch. Um, I might read a little bit of November 9th by Colleen Hoover because I just started that last night. And then I gotta run into the store. Okay, this is my haul from Albertsons. I got these dark chocolate nut and sea salt and then peanut butter dark chocolate kind bars. I got this thing of trail mix. It's cranberry cashew almond. Um, it's probably just like high in fat. I don't even think it has a lot of protein. Um, and it probably has some sugar from the cranberries, but like, I don't know. It'll sustain me if I'm just like in the car in between meals. And then also I got these Belvita breakfast bars. I used to eat these like every day last spring and I just kind of forgot about them. And then I'm going to read November 9th before I have to go back to work for the afternoon. Hi guys, I am on my way home right now. I am getting changed for pickleball. I literally brought a change of clothes and everything so I could just go straight there after work, but I forgot my shoes. And I obviously can't play pickleball in my work shoes, so I'm gonna go home, just get changed really quick, and then hop back in the car. I don't have time to, like, make food or anything, but I have those snacks now in the car, so that's good. And I might, like, if I have a couple minutes, I'm gonna make a protein shake just to, like, drink on the way. But I'm, like, really tight on time because I think it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get to the pickleball courts because it's like after work time, so like a ton of people are driving that direction right now. Hi guys, I'm just currently getting gas. I just went to yoga and I did pickleball. It was so much fun and now it's about eight o'clock and I need to head home, shower, and then hopefully I'm gonna go lift in the morning. Okay, I just got these two new skincare products. 
I just unboxed them on TikTok. I'll have that link down below. But I'm trying this new night moisturizer because I'm running out of mine. And it's the CeraVe Skin Renew Night Cream. I think it'll be a little bit heavier than what I was using before. So I'm excited to try this. And then for day to day, the sun is coming out more now that we're headed into spring. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the glow screen. So I'm trying it out. I watched like a few review videos on TikTok and everyone said that it was like very similar. It looked pretty similar too, like it's slightly tinted. So I'll try it out, let you guys know how I like it. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna try this new night cream. This is nice. Oh wow, it's thick. I think I got too much. Oh my god, I got it in my hair. This is so thick and I think I just put on too much. It feels really nice though, honestly. Like, I just know that I'm gonna wake up and my skin is gonna feel so good. This is the other thing that was in my Amazon order. It's called Vitex Chaseberry, Chase Treeberry. It's a supplement and it's supposed to be like a natural version of Spironolactone because that's what I was on for my acne last year and it just helped to get my hormones kind of balanced um because back in 2020 i came off the birth control pill and then 2021 i stopped being vegan so like there just been like a lot of changes or whatever so this is supposed to support female hormone health so i'm trying it out it's one capsule per day and i think there's 120 in here so this should last me several months coming on here to end this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching make sure to comment down below literally anything it helps so much if you watch up to this point make sure you like this video and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time